What's up guys, Ennis from Nitro here. Just thought I'd make a video showing you guys that are just getting into Nitro how to start your car. Um, this is a 1 8 scale Nitro monster truck that I got from HSP Racing. It's pretty good, it has some problems with the pull start, um, slipping kind of sometimes. And um, also I wrecked the, the steering servo um, by doing jumps. So you probably don't want to be jumping on this truck, but it's, uh, it's a really good basher, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you need is a fully charged glow plug. Um, these come in your RC starter kits. And you also want to get some fuel. I'm using Traxxas 20% fuel. Uh, I know some people like to use 33%, but um, I just like 20% 20 better for me. Um, you want to have your glow plug wrench. Or the, the, I forgot what it's called, it's just a wrench. And also you want to have, uh, of course, a toolkit with all the um, screws and extra batteries and just in case something happens out in the field. And um, of course you want to have your remote control. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is just check that um, your electronics are working. So turn on your car and your remote and just check that all the, all the servers are functioning. Then you want to fill this thing up with fuel. I'm actually going to fill up this uh, bottle here. You got this bottle here that you fill up the tank with. Oh, this is a bit hard to open. Good. I'll, I'll go for about a third of a tank because I don't want to really, I'm in the backyard right now, I don't want to drive it around too much because the neighbors are going to get pissed off. That's good. That's enough. Alright, so you, all, you also want to make sure that your car, uh, that all the screws on your car are nice and tight because uh, you don't want your car falling apart um, while you're riding it. So um, I went ahead and tightened all the screws off the, off the camera. But you want to make sure that you do that because one time I was doing jumps on this truck and this back wheel here um, came completely off. Um, obviously, it wasn't in midair, thank God, but it was pretty embarrassing to you know have your car fall apart. So yeah, make sure all the screws are tight. So let's let's go ahead and start this thing up. Okay, so this is how you prime your engine. Put your thumb over the exhaust and um, pull on the starter until you see the nitro going into the carburetor. So, I, oh, there it is, fuel's in the car, and just pull it a couple times, um, there's a slipping problem that I was talking about, but, um, also, if you're, if you're starting your car, it's pretty cool, let's say, you want to add a bit of fuel into the carb itself, so, um, this opening right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, there it is, that's where the air filter goes. Alright, then you want to take a glow plug and make sure your idle trim is it's tuned properly. Alright, you want to take your this thing, glow plug thing, put it into the motor and start this baby up. Alright, that was a really good run, so after you're done with your car, you want to make sure to turn off the, the servos. And, you know, just ch check the temperature. Um, this engine's really not hot at all, it's just barely warm. That means ba barely hot. That, that's good, it means it's tuned properly. 
And um, so after you're done with your car, don't forget to clean it. I mean, I didn't really, I don't really have to clean it because it was just in my backyard for a couple minutes. But you know, if you're out in the field, then make sure to clean the wheels, clean the base, and uh, clean the engine. Of course, it's the most important part in your car. And yeah, so have a good time with your car. Peace.